adding references to software into Mendeley is incredibly quick and easy. I'm going to show you with two examples. The first one is some software called Scrivener that lives on my Mac, and this method works with pretty much every bit of software on your computer. Doesn't matter if it's a Mac or a PC or anything, this is how you do it. The second software is some software called iQuant, which is AI-driven um, eye tracking analysis, which lives on the web. So we're gonna cover web-based and computer-based. Let's start with the computer-based. The first thing I want to do is have a look at Mendeley and go to here to file, add entry manually and drop down to select computer program. That gives us all the information that we need to fill in. So we just got to go and find it. Now, where do we find it? Really simple place. It's over here in Scrivener in the about section. Now, if I click away from this window, I lose all that information. So little thing I have to do, just go on the Scrivener and then about, and then take a little screenshot of that information. And there we go. Now, you might have information online for other documents in different places, but this is one way you can get it really clear. So computer program, it's quite simple. It's called Scrivener. The publisher is called Literature and Latte. Really easy. The version number is down here. So 3.1.5. Many people are like to put it at the top here, but really it belongs down there. The year is 2019. I'm going to 2019 because just right here, we've got 2005, 2019 as the dates. So who are we actually doing this? Well, the authors we've got over here, we have Keith Blount, which um, trying to select something in a picture. So we go B L O B L O U N T comma Keith, then return. Then we've got the two additional designs, which is uh, P E T R A K A comma lower. And we've got a great one to put a spell, which is B A U M G A R. R T N E R J A N I K. I'm not going to try and pronounce those names too closely because, frankly, I think I'll make a mistake on them. But then we've got the authors in the correct thing from over there. But you might want to just put the company name if it's anything more than a small thing. Now, Scrivener is made by a small team, so let's go with the real people. So, don't really need pages, don't need abstract, don't need tags, don't need keywords. City, that's going to be the city where it's developed. Where do we find that? Now, it's the same place we find the URL. So I'm going to go to the website for Lister and Latte. This is the website for Scrivener. So just copy that, jump over here, and paste that into the URL. So the only thing we've got left is the city. I said it's the same place. Now, when you go to the About page of the company, Scrivener, you'll find that at the very bottom, after meeting the team, you've got an address, which is Lowland House tr 12 na When you Google that, you'll find that it is Truro in Cornwall, really nice place. So I'm just gonna go and pop in Truro. And that's the city, that is everything completely ready to go with that. So that's the first example. Let's go to the second example of how you do web-based software. So I'm not going to go into how to use iQuant, but if you like doing eye tracking, I strongly recommend check them out, they are fantastic. So what's different about this is that this is software running on a server. And because it's running on a server, on a website, you work in a very different way. You go to File, Add Entry Manually, but this time, rather than choosing Computer Program, you choose Web Page. And you just do it like any other web page. We're gonna to go to iQuant. The authors are iQuant because it's a uh, institution. Um, you can put iQuant as a publication as well. Lots of repetition here. It's evolving software, so 2020 is always good. Um, date access is going to be today. Check my watch is the 3rd of November, um, 2020, our favorite year. Then we go to URL. At this point, you just choose the main URL. So it's going to be app.iquant.com. Going to copy that and just paste it into there. And that is everything you need. So we're going to click save. So what we do with this now is we can reference this in two ways. Let's go to recently added. Got my two pieces here. I could just select them, right click, copy as formatted citation. 
and then go to maybe a Word document and make a new document right here. And in this Word document, I could just paste them in. That works really well. Or do my preferred method of you know, write whatever I'm doing. And then I'm just going to drop down, actually open this window here. Drop down in my uh, insert references. And I'm going to choose Scrivener, which is right there. I'm going to choose Iquant, which is right there. Click OK. That's adding those references in. Got my reference list at the bottom here. Insert the bibliography. And there we go. Of course, that's in Harvard style. I could choose something else, such as um, APA 7th edition, and that would be really good. But you know what? I prefer Harvard. So that is how to add references to computer software into uh, Mendeley for both desktop based and web based, and then how to add them as references into your Word documents. I hope it's been useful. I've been Dr. Chris Parker. I'll see you in the next video.